This video is a short tutorial I made showing how to model foundation slab edge thickenings. Okay, so in this exercise we're going to use the floor slab edge tool to, in essence, replicate something from one of our national codes, which is, in essence, not a foundation wall itself, but, in essence, a in situ slab thickening on the edge. Um, it saves boxing the inside face. So it's quite common. So what we're going to do is we're going to first add this shape onto the slab. So we're going to use the floor slab edge tool. Um, I'm going to choose the slab um, edge that I've already got in here. And I'm just going to hover over and pick the top edge of the floor. And what it does is it nicely kind of uh, produces a profile along that edge that you've made. So that profile is listed under profiles um, and I've given a special material for it. So if we have a look at that profile, I'm going to edit the family and let's take a look at some of the reference planes that I've made up. So I've kind of got the edge of the floor here and it's making a depth, a width and then in this case an angle offset. Okay, so again we can add and remove segments. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so that looks quite a lot like these. We can do different angles, different orientations. That's in essence some of the slab thicknings. Okay, now the next one that we'll have a look at would be again from um, my native 3604 not masonry, but we might look at doing like a in situ brick slab thickening itself. So again, I've got a brick veneer version. I'm going to pick this edge of the slab. So again, it makes it. And as far as the family itself, when we go into it, Again, just some dimensions. That's where the edge of the slab is, and it's making a profile that gets sunken into it. Okay, now when we do this, we can add and remove. I'm going to choose the original one too. And when sometimes these things don't exactly heal up, we can just use the join geometry to kind of make them all intact. So it's kind of like one massive big in situ piece. Now the nice thing about this is when we go to our slope slab plans, we can quite easily see there's the floor. We've got a little bit of the footing visible below, and then we've got some dashed lines on the inside showing us the angled pieces. Now some little things that we need to be wary of here is we can adjust the profile, the material, we've got the vertical offsets as well if we wanted to, if we wanted to drop them or push them back up, but we kind of normally leave these alone. Okay, and we've also got the angle as well. We really want to leave that stuff alone too. If we want to make any changes to some of these things, we might make up another profile type and then another floor slab edge type as well to get the variation that we need. And that's really it. Thanks for watching and please leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you later.